Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about this Andon Star Digital Microscope, which, uh, as you can tell, doesn't really fit in <laughs> to my mini studio here. But it doesn't really matter, of course. Uh, this is an, uh, a dual camera. So it has uh, one main camera over here and an endoscope over here, a freehand endoscope with its own light fixture, as you can hopefully see. And I must say I am quite impressed by the level of detail that this digital microscope can provide. I was a little bit hesitant, actually I've wanted a digital microscope such as this one for uh, years. Uh, the ones I came uh, across weren't what I wanted in, um, well, in terms of detailing. This is however a 4K setup. Uh, it can also record in 4K, even though that's not something I'm really looking for. But level of detail is great. It even has an HDM out so you can uh, display things on your maybe your main monitor or TV. It has great a great lighting setup. Three sorry three lights, and again an endoscope. Um, so there are three versions of this Endostar digital microscope. The Pro ES version, which is what I have. Then there's the Pro version, which doesn't come with this endoscope. And then there's the non-Pro version that doesn't come with a remote, this remote over here. So in this video, I'm gonna show and tell you everything you need to know. I'm gonna, well, test it and tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. I'll also show you how to assemble it. So it'll also be a how to assemble video. And also disclaimer, I got this microscope set up for free from Andon Star for review. So I didn't pay anything, also, but the link in the description isn't an affiliate link. So I'm not making any money from this, right? Definitely not from YouTube, as you probably know. But disclaimer nonetheless. So let's get into it. Let's actually start by showing you how it was packaged. Here we go. Are you serious? So ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look how this uh, digital microscope is uh, actually packaged and what you get for your money. So yeah, digital Microsoft, is it actually digital? Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, it's at least electronic, uh, professional electronic products. Products? <laughs> Product application. So the packaging isn't luxurious. It's a cardboard uh, box, but that's fine. You're not paying for the packaging in this case. So let's try and get it open. Hot today, we've got ourselves in uh, Product leaflet, sort of a uh, what's in the box, I guess. Then some protective foam, very, very nice. And user manual in English and only in English. Yeah, completely in English. All right, surprising. So as you can probably see, everything is neatly packaged and secured in uh, foam, which is nice. Yeah, so at this point in the video, I decided to shoot the video a little bit differently. I'll show you everything that's uh, in the box. However, I'll show you in the order that you assemble it, as I assemble the device. That way, this video will also show you how to assemble <laughs> this uh, digital microscope from Andon Star. So this is the monitor unit, the business end of the unit, I'd say. Uh, with some controls over here, an on-off switch, and well, uh, we'll see what these buttons do in a bit. Right, however, at the back end of this monitor, you see the actual microscope, the camera side, which is uh, looks pretty simple. It, it does feel pretty sturdy, by the way, and it has a... It, it, this probably is the focus ring, but a zoom ring. An optical zoom ring, that is. I assume you can also digitally zoom in, into uh, the monitor's image, but you can also zoom in optically, which is obviously far better. All right, the monitor unit has some in and outputs, ports, if you will. It has an HDMI out port, 
only an out port to hook up an, a bigger monitor maybe for instance. It has a, a USB port and I think that's only to hook up a controller and we'll, I'll get to that in a sec. It has a micro memory card slot and it has a well what looks to be a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and that's probably for a light unit which we'll also get to in a second. So that's the major component of this digital microscope. Okay, so let's now see how you actually assemble things. And for that we need this here metal base, which has two lights, light fixtures with uh, bendable flexible arms as you can tell. Now there is a link in the description of this video to this uh, microscope and it comes in three flavors, three versions if you will. There is a normal version, uh, which has this base and the two uh, LEDs, the two lights. There's a pro version that has a, an external controller as an extra. And there's a pro ES version, which is what I have, with an extra light. So on top of these two lights, there's an extra light in that version. The next thing is this upright. So this is basically a metal bar which will screw into the base over here, so it has uh, threading over here and it will screw it over here. However, I will first attach this bendable arm, which is for the, uh, uh, the optional extra light unit, which comes with the Pro ES version. So we'll slot that on over here and I'm not sure how high yet, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so at this moment we'll thread the upright into our base. Like so. Okay, oops. And we'll turn this extra auxiliary arm off to the side over here. We'll get uh, to that, well, why not uh, get to that right now? This here is the optional extra light that comes with the Pro ES version, which is dimmable. It has a control unit over here, and here's that 3.5 millimeter jack that will hook into the, to the back of the camera to power this extra light, an extra light fixture. All right, and we can mount that light into this flexible arm, that extra flexible arm, like so, and that way you can, well, point it to whatever you want extra lighting onto. And uh, you can uh, mount it lower or higher, whatever you want. Then, uh, to mount our monitor, we need this here. Contra contraption. <laughs> yeah, so this over here, the smaller of the two holes, will mount onto this upright, right? And it uh, has a screw in it to um, secure it in place. And this is where the, our camera will run through, this over here. Yeah, so we'll slide it onto the upright. And then we can mount our camera. Well, let's mount it a little bit lower actually. And then our main camera, so the one at the back of our monitor, slots into this bigger of the two holes. Obviously first big out these two thumb screws, which will fix it in place. And then you simply wiggle your camera into that hole and secure the camera in place with the two thumb, thumb screws. There you go. So at this point, we kind of have most of the working components of our microscope in place. The camera is pointing onto our base over here, straight down, and we can uh, adjust its uh, height. The screw over here, like so. 
for fine adjustment, however, you've got these screws, these thumb screws over here. Right? There's one on each side, very convenient. So you can zoom into the object and zoom in with this rotating bezel on the camera as well. Okay, so that's most of the assembly done actually. Then how to hook things up? Well, all right, to hook things up, you'll need a power brick. This is a European power brick, as you can tell. I got my microscope from the European warehouse. So I assume that if you order it from the European warehouse, you'll always get a European plug. And if you order it from Amazon in the US, you'll get a etc. A US uh, pack. Um, okay, so and you get this um, spaghetti of wires, which has three connectors. One micro USB. A bit of a shame that it's a micro USB, but not that important as it's proprietary, right? The USB port on uh, this microscope is only meant for this unit. So, all right, and it comes with a barrel jack uh, to power the the base, the, the LEDs of the base basically, and a, a normal uh, USB A plug which hooks up to the power brick. So our base over here has that barrel connector again to power up. Our lights. Our cheeky day. Then the monitor has a USB, micro USB port over here. So we'll plug that in. Our cheeky day. And again, the only uh, plug we have now left is that uh, USB A, which will slot into our power brick, which will well, go into our wall outlet. And there you have it, there is our Andon Star digital microscope all hooked up. You can see the lights are already on and that will be one of the, well, um, one of the few negative things I can find about this setup. The, there's no on-off switch, you, you have to uh, disconnect it to switch the lights off. Um, okay, so, but does it work? So we'll switch on the monitor here. Welcome, thank you very much. And there you go. And so I've played around with it a little bit by now. Uh, so I know a little bit more about what it does and uh, how it works. And right out of the gate, I didn't know that this would be an extra camera, an endoscope, basically. Something you can look into things. So this extra camera has its own lights as you can hopefully see right and you can freehand its use as you can also see so you can look into things with this one that you can't look into with the, the bigger microscope um, both of them have their own focus adjustment so this one uh, the main camera has its big focal uh, ring focal grip and this smaller endoscope has its own focusing ring in the grip as well so the piece of electronics i now have in view is probably a bit overexposed in the video because of the the three lights that uh, shine on them but uh, well on screen you can see that that everything is well very well lit actually in a minute I'll actually uh, shut down my studio lights, so you can uh, properly judge if these lights are enough. But um, the, I, I must say the level of detail and the lighting and the uh, ease of adjustment is excellent. Very, very nice. So what you see here is a 4K image, at least uh, according to the specs. And also this monitor can record in 4K. So what you see here can be recorded on the SD card at the back in 4K 30. That's its highest resolution. Uh, you can uh, downscale the resolution and record in a higher frame rate, say full HD in 60 frames a second. But usually you'd be looking at things that are stationary. So I'd say that a higher resolution and a lower frame rate is more beneficial. 
right so um, one extra thing you can do is adjust the light coming out of the endoscope and that'll probably not show very up very much on camera no but uh, the in endoscope lights over here can be adjusted very very nice also the the stationary lights can be adjusted via the remote control so that's nice um, you can also uh, zoom in and out with the remote control, but that's a digital zoom. You'd be far better off zooming in and out by adjusting the elevation of the camera. Yeah, so that's nice. Um, you might be wondering, well, I continuously see that inset screen of the endoscope. Um, is that always there? No, with the remote control, you can uh, disable that. And I must say it's a bit wonky how you get that to shut off. Um, I haven't found a, a quick and easy way to it, but as you can see, it's now gone. And let's get rid of that crosshair if we can. No? <laughs> no, probably not. Now the user interface I must say is, oh it's uh, trying to connect to Wi-Fi, that's why it's, it seems frozen. Yeah, okay, can I now, yeah, now the crosshair is gone. Okay, so again, you can opt to uh, only see the main camera or also see the endoscope in screen. You cannot only see the endoscope full screen. That's uh, a shame. Yeah, so the endoscope is uh, part of the Pro ES version, right? So if you get the normal Pro version, you don't get that endoscope. And I must say, um, it it's definitely can be handy if you want to look into hard to reach places. Yeah, so this is an RT channel. Maybe if you want to look into the belly of an airplane, right? To see some electronics that are hidden uh, from view definitely very handy to have that uh, free-handed endoscope all right let's take one little step back and see what else comes with this uh, digital microscope all right here's everything else that comes with a microscope you get an hdmi out cable to hook the microscope up to a bigger screen for maybe to uh, pre present things you get uh, this USB cable and I'm not completely sure why they ship it with this uh, cable but um, if you don't want to use the remote that's on the, on the microscope you can simply hook up the power uh, to, uh, with this cable. Maybe, I'm, I'm not sure. Doesn't seem very useful, but well, it's a cable. <laughs> okay, you get uh, thumb screws, uh, two, yeah, two spare thumb screws. Uh, a lot of the adjustments on the, this uh, microscope are done with thumb screws, and you could potentially maybe strip them out. Mm -hmm. But you get some squares, which is definitely nice. You get these. Uh, metal accoutrements to clamp things down on the, pl the base plate. I will probably not be using them. No. Um, in fact, I, I prefer to use some silicone to stick things down. But, well, with, this is definitely a nice addition. And you get some accoutrements for that endoscope to shape the light and the focus, basically. Some plastic accoutrements. Again, to shape the light and even a, a mirror, you can uh, stick that up to the end of the endoscope and look around a corner even. Yeah, okay, um, might be useful and it's nice to have, better to, to have it than to not have that. So it's definitely nice that they added that to the package. So with my studio lights now off, and also with a normal background, you can see that the uh, inbuilt lights are more than sufficient. And in fact, with the little remote in wire remote, you can dim the lights as well to this point. Yeah.
So depending on uh, what what the size of your object is, you can dim the light and uh, yeah, it's still a little bit overexposed in my video, but uh, you could see that I was able to dim the light with this in wire remote. Very nice. All right, I've also removed the white backdrop so you can get a sense of scale of this uh, this unit. Uh, in the background you see a 3D printer of which you probably know the size. Right, and um, it's a relatively compact unit, I should say. Right, so that's uh, that's nice. It comes with this uh, remote control, RF, rem well, RF, infrared remote control. And you might wonder, well, do you actually need a remote control for a, a digital microscope such as this? Well, it does have a couple of features that you wouldn't have without the remote control, such as you can invert the image. Uh, maybe uh, what you are looking at uh, is more clear or has more contrast in reverse. So you can do that. You can uh, look at your image in black and white. Uh, same thing. Some things will uh, be in, in better focus in black and white. And uh, well, you can uh, zoom in and out. There, zoom in. And again, that's a digital zoom. So, well, it might be useful. But you'd be better off just uh, lowering your camera to uh, get a better uh, view of uh, small components. But it's there and it's, uh, it can be handy. Also, the remote control has a freeze button. So if you, in case you are looking at something that does move, say an insect, just as an example, you can freeze the image and as you can tell, well, the, the image is now frozen. So that way, in, in case, again, uh, your image uh, is uh, something that moves around, you can freeze the image and have a good look at things. So ladies and gentlemen, the Anden Star Digital Microscope. You've seen how it goes together, how it's packaged, and as you could see, it goes together very easily. You have seen what it does, but what are my thoughts on it? So, review time basically. What are the pros and cons, in my mind, of this Anden Star Digital Microscope? First of all, the screen and the camera work very well. The level of detail is far more than I need. And if, you, for instance, you'd want to do SMD work, surface-mounted uh, component soldering with this uh, this microscope, uh, very suitable. Very, the detailing is uh, definitely there. And um, I've got it mounted up pretty high, as you can see right now. You can get a lot closer to the pins, for instance, of, of a chip. Yeah, so definitely the detailing is there. Uh, 4K image, very, very nice. Uh, the screen is very nice. It's not all that reflective, uh, or even though for you, maybe my studio lights reflect a little bit in the screen, but um, looking at it as a person, it, it's, it's fine. Very, very nice. Fit and finish of this uh, unit is actually a little bit of a double-edged sword. I think it goes together very well. It's built sturdily and uh, the, the, the finishing and the fit of all these parts, the mechanical parts, is very good. So in that sense, the fit and finish is very good. However, and that's what, definitely one of the downsides of this uh, microscope, there's a lot of wiring all over the place. You've got a wire to power the, the lights at the base over here. You've got some uh, wires going to the monitor. You've got uh, this wire over here for the endoscope and you've got uh, an extra remote for the lighting. And so, yeah, that uh, could have looked a lot um, um, more finished. So the finishing leaves a little bit to the, the desired in that sense. The lights, the light setup of this unit is very good. Um, nothing more to add to that. Very, uh, very much adequate, very good lighting. The delivery was ultra fast and that's uh, probably called it uh, came from Amazon. It took less than two days for it to be delivered in the Netherlands. So take that as you will. But uh, for me, it was uh, ordered uh, on a Monday and I got it in at a Wednesday. So 
very very fast. Okay, so those are the, the pros for me of this unit. The cons, however, I've already mentioned it, the wire mess. Um, I simply don't like wire messes such as this. And I can understand that if they have um, uh, added things to uh, encapsulate wiring and combine wires, the unit would probably be more expensive. So in that sense, I, well, I could be okay with it, I guess. But still, uh, it looks a little bit uh, messy on your desk. And also, if you'd want to store the unit, if, if it's not in use, and want to store it on a shelf, you've got all those wires dangling around. So I don't, I don't really like that. Again, I understand, but I don't like it. I have already mentioned this as well, the user interface of this monitor with the remote control. Um, I can't really uh, definitively say how, for instance, to switch on and off this endoscope. Uh, by the way, there's a very easy way, just unplug it. There's a connector at the back of the monitor for the endoscope and poof, it's gone. So in that sense, it's very easy, but um, it should be easy to just simply hit a switch and uh, move that uh, endoscope view out of, out of there. But um, yeah, there, there's none. And other things, um, yeah, the, 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 you can also connect to the unit via Wi-Fi from your phone or a, in a computer. Uh, it's a little bit uh, cumbersome. And uh, it's also something I don't really need, but it's a little bit cumbersome. So the user interface, it's not a deal breaker at all. I'd uh, rather have a unit that uh, magnifies well and shows me the level of detail I want, but the user interface, meh, yeah. All right, and the last thing I want to mention is the mounting plate. Now there, there are some uh, uh, clamps that come with the unit to clamp things down, but still, I'd, I would have liked to have seen an, uh, um, a, a, a mounting base that you could um, uh, elevate for an easy elevation of your object. Yeah, not a big deal and uh, personally I'll probably uh, stick a slab of silicone to the base and uh, have well my object stick to the base like that. Those are basically the only cons and yeah, no real uh, deal breakers in my humble opinion. And the last thing I should mention of course is uh, would I actually be buying this unit myself? Again I got this for free from Endostar. Would I buy this unit or maybe one of the units that are in the $200-ish range? If you are looking at a digital microscope you've come across those as well maybe on uh, Banggood and such. And I know from other people's experience, those are close to a waste of your money. Um, it's not that they don't magnify things and you can uh, see more on them than uh, with your naked eye, but uh, those are basically all uh, 1080p full HD if you're lucky, maybe even less than full HD. This uh, definitely shows the level of detail of a 4K setup. It's not interpolated uh, 1080p and then scaled up to uh, 4K, at least not from the looks of it. Again, the level of detail of this unit, uh, well, um, shows me is what I'd be looking for. However, that comes at a price and that price is close to $400 for this Pro ES version, so with the endoscope. If you forgo that endoscope, you'll be saving yourself approximately 30-ish dollars. And if you don't want the remote for the lighting setup and such, you'll be saving yourself uh, approximately 50 dollars. And, and then you're at approximately 330 dollars. And I think at 330 dollars, this is a great setup. You should definitely pick this one over the lower priced versions. Definitely. Again, the, 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 the Microsoft camera and the monitor are the same for all versions. And yeah, that endoscope, now that I've used it for a couple of days, it's actually better, more useful than I had expected. 
Yeah, if it would have been my money without this review, I would probably have gone with for the pro version without that endoscope. But having had it now, uh, it, I think it's worth the extra cost. It only costs like what, thirty extra dollars for a, an extra light and an extra camera. I think it's worth the extra cost. And so is the entire unit worth also almost four hundred dollars. Uh, depends a bit, little, little bit on what you do, of course. Um, if you uh, run uh, an electronic shop, you would be probably be looking at a more expensive uh, device. And as you probably know, you can uh, get uh, digital microscopes at ten times the cost easily. But if you start out, I'd say this is definitely worth it. I've not come across really uh, enormous mistakes in the unit. It, it simply works. And the le again, the level of detailing and the light setup and uh, how sturdy it is. It, it looks and feels and works like a $400 unit, in my humble opinion. So that's my verdict. I would probably go for this uh, Pro ES version to have that remote. That remote is definitely handy. Uh, and the endoscope, definitely a nice addition to the unit. So that's my verdict. And you tell me in the comment section below, what do you think of this Star digital microscope? For now, I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.